Oh, that's why we moved out of the way, so we can park here. Hoover. We've lost internet. Paint up the wall again, make it fresh, make it fresh, but snap the lights in it. Come on, a barrel like this. You van it in bay. Oi, oi. It's been a very long week, to be honest. I would say best car sold. Water-covered ECU. For you, I on the saw weekend. The oh, yeah, move the schedule around as well. Oh, God, it's chilly. Oh, well, it's well, not, Oh. Oh, let's go, let's clean. You want to guide it flat back to the... Yeah, go on, go. That's about as far as we're going to go isn't it? Oh, that's why we moved out of the way, so we can park here. Kind of drive up to the front. Open the door out. Hoover. All that sort of stuff. The tyre thing. 
Wow, well, I think it might. Just, yeah, I think there's nowhere else really for them to go, and they're not fat really in the way. Mm. What we might do is just shift them up into the corner, so you got a bit more of a walk through there. Yeah. It doesn't vent outside, anyway, so it's not really that necessary. No, I mean there's a vent there, oh, okay. so I used to zip tie it to that originally. Uh, for like 20 minutes at a time? Yeah, yeah. Uh, taking about 10 seconds. Ah, that's fine. I had the better, really. Not all the best, but the other children are off. Doesn't matter, does it? So I put these other sides on. Yeah. And then move the bench over there. And then shoot off and do some transporty bits. Well, I'll, I'll go over to James. I'll go over and say hello. So I can take the evoke over and bring them. Uh, I know, you too. Me and Toby can do that somehow. Have you, is there a nickname for Toby? Big Toes. Big Toes. Big toes. Big toes. I would put them at the same height now, if not that size lower. Right, so. So that, because it's kind of. When it was up against them. there, it gave you a backstop. I would put them at the same height now, because they would sit in. If you know so, what I mean. Yeah, so, what, what levels would you like to do? Because that's, well, that's probably too high. And then, um, well, do the bottom one first, yeah. and then you can put a couple of tyres in. Yeah. Kind of see how much you can get away with. Yeah. Your bigger size at the bottom, medium size, and smallest at the top. We do have more of these anyway, so we've got two more, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Right, this is like the biggest tire we'll ever have on. This is the Navarro's. So that's really small. Now we just put one. Yeah, a couple notches lower. Um, this one well, line up. This. Yeah. That's this, this this one line up. This one go in. Okay. Well. Let's go wider enough for this. Right, I'll yeah, leave yeah, you yeah. two doing that, then yeah. you can chuck the bench in here, um, or not, whatever. Um, well, one of you can, because one of you can take the Mariva to the farm and bring the 7 Series back. And Is there a rush on that before you want to do lunch? Sorry? Uh, no, it's lunch first. Cool. And then me and Toby will go over there. Jay it repairs. Looks, it wants to sit there, so why is it? No, uh, again, the floor's probably not quite level. Well, the, yeah. the bars also bend, they're, they're, they're known to bend. You can count, count the holes at the bottom and see if you're definitely in the... Yeah, I mean, you are... You are... The reason is because you're higher on that end than you are this end. Yeah. I don't know if you're aware of that or not. And what's in, like, that's one not higher? That's one not higher than this Oh, so this is where I had it was level, then. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. I would leave it there and yeah, put this side up. Yeah, this side will Where's that aircon machine want to go really? It's going to be there, isn't it? Hello, what you can I get? I've decided mm -hmm. I'm going to take bands, aka mine, yeah. to box, put it on this side here. Yeah. Maladin's got a workbench, put uh, all that stuff in there, and they can have the thingy. And then they can have the Hoover and everything over here, yeah. just to go from that. And, uh, yeah, just make sure everything's back in by the end of the day. Some of this engine stuff and whatever, I might take out the farm and put in the shed out there. It just doesn't really need to be here, it takes so much bloody space. We've got plenty of vans to take it down with now. Um, gearbox stuff. Oh, no, that's all engine stuff, isn't it? Is that all van stuff? Because that's narrower. That bench over there will fit perfectly in that gap. So they've got a thing and they can sit and have their lunch there if they want. Lush. And they can actually get their legs under it then. Oh yeah. True. I'll give it clean down from as well. But that is just going to need all like unpacking and. Oh, here he is. Camera boy. On top, one at the bottom. Uh, on top. No, that one on top, I reckon. I'm not this off. I mean, ideally, that wants to go. Um... There you go. That needs to go up the loft at some point, the yeah. printer. Red 
piece here. Yeah, well, yeah. Which is probably on the four court. Is that Dacia, that piece here? Same, same. Potatoes. Um, and you're picking up a, a boke. I just think Jeff Slander to. Don't um, lose trade plates. Oh, I didn't do it. No more trade plates using McCauley. If you're using my dead one, I'm going to use it. Yeah, there. And then the Bavari needs to get to Western Order Services for 1020. One of them. There's only come back. Bavari. There's only come back from there, so it should be driven on. There's nothing to come back from there, so that's going to be two of you. Yeah. So you, know, you, want, you, want, you want to go speedy speedy and get those two out of the way. Good morning. Which are these, that's what I was going to ask, which of these drums do we want to sacrifice? Seems we've got another one, we don't need three now, do we? I thought we could have three, but it seems a bit unnecessary. The super bed one, I think, is the. I think that's the correct one, I think. That was off, that was off, Dan? Oh, it's on a beamer. Beamer. Important. Yeah. Right. Right. yeah, I've been it. Throw it, this, throw it, or keep it. Throw it. Uh, smart car radio, throw it. Throw it. It's cheap. Throw it. Oh, if you want, like, a really good radio. That's not the reverse one. Okay. Oh, that's why I forgot we changed it, so that would, which side is wiped as that? Yeah. Yes, it has. I'm guessing it's broken. Huh? I'm guessing it's broken. Uh, I think it was, it, this was causing a power steering problem. Not power steering. Cruise control. When we first got it, it wouldn't, cruise control, we kept going out saying cruise control problem, and it came down to this. Obviously, when we ordered it, we got one that was the same, but it must have come from a saloon that didn't have a rear wiper thingy. I was trying to figure out, Dan, why my car, I couldn't operate the rear wiper, and I was like, obviously, I've got the wrong set of things in it. So, obviously, when we did that, this one's got a rear wiper, and the one we put in must have been from a saloon. Oh, so you haven't got the... And we can't operate the rear wiper. Kill all wipers, delete it. Kill all wipers, yes. You feeling strong? You're going to help lift this blue cabinet? Right. Shall we like... No? Let's put the front up against one side of the van, I reckon. Yep. No? You fiddly have this, but I can have one Wow. I'm just having to run to the pounds off, right? No problem. Leave it with me. I'll give you a call as soon as I can. Yeah, yeah. If you haven't heard from me, chase me up. It's not a problem. All right. Cheers now. Bye bye. I do want the cash pay today. Yeah. Apparently they they planned for Wednesday, but then X Y or Z whatever. So it's only waiting on the battery, isn't it? Uh, no, it's got three faults in the system. It's waiting on the battery to confirm whether it's actually. All right. Well, that's what we give them a call. When? Do we know what time they're coming in then? No, I saw the caller. There's a. Um, it had uh, like three glow plug things in there, but the car was on such low voltage. Yeah. You couldn't tell whether it was going on low voltage or whether it was actually a. Yeah. I don't think it's anything. No. To be worried about. <laughs> Otherwise, everything's all done. I mean, the lads will need to give it a, a once over. Uh, I'm alright, I'm going to have to shoot out and get some shizzle from, from Jizzle. Okay. Or what did you get? A bracket for the screen for the uh, number plate making computer. So we can mount that on the wall by the door. Oh, fuck it. Oh, there's a... What, like one you can pull out? No, it's just... Oh, there's one on the floor, actually. So the, the, the scrap bits are through my old one on the floor. Oh, really? But it is only the... the, the pull yeah, out say, I, I, just, for the sake of, like, six quid of yeah. proper job, getting all the screws back, I over. pitched the back bit on it, so I flat them out, and then I just I was left with the, the extender bit. Which just put the little floor. shelf to put the uh, the actual, like, mincer thing. What's this? Pasta machine. Huh? Pasta machine. The pasta machine, yeah. The pasta machine. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go home and get my SDS drill. A ringer. That's what I meant, not a mincer, a ringer. 
you know when they say you've been put through the ringer that's what that is basically squeeze the stuff together they use it for washing back in the olden days or in my house where we don't have electricity it's coming all right we're just having a cup of tea and i don't know what to do next i reckon that stuff needs to go um this needs to go to the scrap uh, scrap yard love you toby we do we could put down the shit in the loft we love you toby we do <laughs> well it's got that now i imagine it's probably slightly more maybe maybe stronger. it's great just to this corner so we can pull that back down now and you're first yeah So it all needs a bit of a quick sand and then just painting again. Yeah. And we'll put the number plates out here somewhere else. So we'll just look a bit busy doing shit. Yeah, not a huge amount to do in here, other than we might have a tidy up and maybe touch in a bit, a bit of paint and whatever. Probably get rid of these lights and get Brad to move them down the bottom. Mainly this wall, there's a big tile loose off the roof. I don't want to go there. Yeah. Paint up the wall again, make it fresh, so I get Brad to put some extra lights in it. Just freshen it up a bit. Okay, I've got paint, I've got a set of rollers, but you've probably got better ones. We're going to put chuck some stuff on this wall in a minute. And then, so we need to, we're going to do this. If we get that done tomorrow or whatever, then we can have everything in here. We'll start moving some stuff in anyway, and then we'll have to ballot in bay clear to kind of see what we want to do in there. and tidy that up a little bit and then perhaps done or maybe before whenever we can go into the office next then. It's been a while to be honest, uh, quite serene over the course of this sort of one long surreal night and you know I've covered in Manchester, I moved here to university, you know I want to read more books in Manchester. Oh that thing, quite cool though isn't it, we'll keep that, I might uh, well, the XR, turn it to a lamp and weld it into something. Is that yeah. an LSD? Oh, wow. Yeah. That could be the piece. I've got probably got a crankshaft somewhere. Come on a barrow motors. New valet in bay. We need to get all this paint stuff out of here yep. and give it a bit of a clean down, take the stickers off, says what it is. Rub down. said a minute ago, is it? The flat shelves would go on top of it and that and the printer are going to sit on that shelf. Yeah. You said, you said right in the middle of the wall, that's who told me. Yeah, as in, <laughs> in middle, as in middle side to side. Just to specify the height of the uh, the thing. Do you want it on the floor or do you want it literally mid? Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought, I thought you meant you went middle, so I was like, bam. Yeah, something like, yeah, that's fine. Let's just get it. Do you want it higher up though? No. Okay. Level like here or whatever. Because yeah. the idea is, the screw that to the wall, then we'll put a couple of brackets there so we can put the shelf thing on, and yeah. then this can sit there. Yeah. Sounds like Which a plan. Be... I nearly put it literally the middle of like the wall. Like that. So when you have the screen up here, yeah. you better have the wireless mouse and everything over here, like pretty much in. It nearly went in the middle of the wall, so. You might be able to come. It'd be better actually. It could come right up to this end. And then just use the bracket on the left. Yeah. Yeah. It gives you more space for these drawers. And it'll be actually actually sit straight as well then. It's actually straight though. Yeah. Oh 
I'm just okay. Yeah, I've got the marksman for you. Oh, yeah. Possibly. It was, it was, yeah. Do you want both brackets or just one on there? Just one on there. Yeah. That is true. anything wrong with this. I've driven to Dumball and back. No surgeon, no nothing, no faults in it. This is a fucking wank. I know, they're on about a break. There's no overheating on, they're all good. But I just, that side is all good, but that pad has been stuck at some time. And it does make the squeak, and the only way of getting rid of it is replacing them. I'm gonna pull the rears off. These, these have not been off, I had to beat the wheels off. But I can't find no surgeon. I drove it all the way to Dunbilt at 65, 70, as they said, without cruise control on. Perfect. And then I drove back on cruise control. Perfect. That's what I mean when I'm like, perfect is. Drive into the wash bay, reverse out, drive into it. That would be my... Then you can open up the driver's door this side and you might want to do both, but we'll, we won't know until we actually try and get a car in. You might find we can't fit a car in it, it'll be a complete waste of time. <laughs> hey, how are you getting a van in here? That's what I'm... That's right. Look at the height of the van, the door opens up one there. That's right, I'm only out there anyway, so I can always get a van in there and just oh, do it somewhere anyway. Yeah. So say what's being plugged, it's going up through there, plugging back into the extension. Nah, that's the ball really, yeah. Can I plug into this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna melt ya. Oh, it probably is melt again, right? Huh? It'll probably just melt again, right? Maybe. The other one broke. Um, bashed him. When I had him as a puppy, he used to keep him in a crate over there in the corner. He jumped up here and just like ripped it off. How's it coming along? We're getting there. Uh, you got some gel sole or you got some tire remover or whatever? I let the Vivara main boy know that his van's passed its multiple flying colours and that it's. Um, been serviced and just needs a clean. Yeah. Um, he reminded me that there needs to be a little ding in the front bumper that needs to be popped out. Oh, hopefully yeah. Geordie's and that Geordie's. Hopefully you've got that. Normally, front bumper Bavaro, the plastic one with the ding in woods. I haven't seen it, but yeah, yeah, I should just want it up. There's a little hole right next to it, so you could just wangle it out. Um, it was originally from what I see for Jason. It was tomorrow for collection, but the guy said Thursday now, late morning. So just on my update. Sorry for that. Um, so that's that. Um, I was then going to get the Auris paperwork done, but I found other car paperwork inside the Auris. So I wanted you to have a look because there's a car that I don't recognise, but I don't know if it's gone down to the farm or something. I don't know. But I wanted you to have a look before I start doing the paperwork, otherwise, it's a waste of my time doing it. I think. Oh, I've got to see the other way around. It's just in case you're talking before I turn the car on. Awesome. Yeah. 
plenty of room to get in there. Yeah. You can leave the engine running and warm it up. Down here. I want to try driving it in. My theory was you drive the front wing up to there, then yeah. you should be able to open both doors. Yeah. Even on something a bit bigger. Weird technique, you've got to reverse into there basically, then it actually comes in quite quite yeah, nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're going to walk around the whole thing. So you can put a bit of right, Yeah, if you're going to come Get further some. this way, yeah, you with the uh, It is it's a nice colour, it's really nice. But to be fair, that can go next to the yellow so we can have yeah, a bunch of 595 of bars across the front. We got three of them Yeah, yeah, so we've got a red, a yellow and a, oh, and a really, blue. Really cool. yeah. And we found out what the what country that flag is. Me and Jason found out, it's the country of Chad. Yeah. Wherever that is. Yeah. <laughs> Yaris Hilton is sold. So Wait, already? Means... I picked that up the other day. I know, yeah, I sold it yesterday. Well, it, it hey, no Jason yesterday, I sold it. Uh, I, I, yeah, how much did you go to? I might as well put that back, because that's not sold. Well, yeah. I don't think it's sold. It's got a price board on it. So, I might as well put that where the Yaris yeah. Yeah. is. But the Yaris is going tomorrow. So, mm. the Yaris, there's no point in tucking the Yaris back. No, we'll no. put something behind it and then put the Yaris in front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. And right. any, are any of these sold but not going soon? Might as well put the wind actually, the wind we cannot get parked for. The wind is proving a nightmare to get parked for. So let's put the wind it? there. Basically all, all I want is that space in the front filled out and the Yaris moved out of the way. We need to remove and then the vans out of the way. Yeah, you can fine. see which ones are sold and which ones aren't. Where's your little Mario key? You're really struggling. Oh well, yeah, but they should be two identical keys. Found it. Uh, okay. Um, and we need the, the wind. Which one is the wind? I might as well just go straight up behind the hours for now. Oh, it hasn't got auto headlights. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I'm up. It's the rest of the minute. Right. Set to match. Uh, the mold is over there. Is it? Yes, there it is. Because okay. the windows were left open. Yeah. You see that over there? We've left the window open and we'll pop this up. I'll turn the camera off, but I'll show you. Where's <coughs> the viewfinder? I can't see it. There we go. Yummy. Oh, Keep going, keep going, keep going. Loads of space, loads of space. Keep going. Now you're done. Now just be careful of the things. Alright, back stop. You're going to curve away or then the other way. There you go. Right, you got the Vivaros. Uh, I had Ava robbed the Vivaro. Do you have both? No, you can't have the other one, didn't you? Nope. I still I couldn't find it. You went and said, yeah, I got it. Nope, I didn't say that. <laughs> That's why it's never coming on off. Well, I couldn't find it, you went into the office and said, don't worry, I've got it. I don't think I did. Oh, I want to kill you. I don't think I did. Toby, can you go back and replay that, please? Where's your little Mario key? You're really struggling. Oh, yeah, but they should be two identical keys. Found it. Found it. Found it. Uh, okay. Not that one. Is that the one you got? Yeah. I'll move the mic if I can keep the mic out.
towards that. I would suggest it goes because the farms that farms, the vans that put on the forecourt should be take one for fun. Because that one's selling tomorrow, but there's only one van here, isn't there? There's two, the one that's being sold tomorrow or whatever, and then the other one tomorrow that's um mm -hmm. okay, yeah, well that can go we don't there's no rush to take it down there now. No, cool. No. I reckon we can well, the one that's the on, no, no, that's what I mean, the other one. I reckon the one that's selling tomorrow we can get in that back corner. Yeah, the, the roof, that roof rack right. one's selling tomorrow, that can go in the corner, the other so one can. pretty much everything else on the forecourt then. Yeah, we've got everything down our yeah. We've got to spin the tail around, the golf around, we've got to squeeze around the end, um, and then we have a free space for the a vehicle. Skoda Octavia, not yep. uh, the Calcis Skoda Octavia. The white one? Yeah, that yep. can go in the scrapyard. So yeah. there's much space. Yeah, there's no room to scrap uh, around. It has customers' cars, it doesn't need to be on the four boards. It can stay there for now, but we'll give it a wash in a minute. Yep. Once there's space. Yep. That so is other than insured, so it could go on the road, by the way. Mm. Could do. I mean, there's two vans blocking the four boards, so I can't really go anywhere anyway yep. for a minute anyway. Um, yeah, we'll move that and put one down the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll grab the golf. Sorry, it's wrong around that golf. Cool, and then we can start sorting some stuff out in here. So do that then, and then you can grab it. Sounds like a Great. Cool. Well, Joe wants the ramp at the end and the mats around it. Um, be interesting because the ceiling is like. But you'll get a car off the ground enough to do twice. So, are you ready for this one? I reckon this one. Oh. I'm going to go away and get it all mopped up. Okay. If you, you've got to lift it up, I'm going to do it where it moves. I'm going to go forward. Yeah. Oh, that's that is. Yeah. And you were away from the water and now you've. Just to make it worse. But let's get this area cleared off. Yeah, we've got a few things here, no worries, let's do it. So we've got all of these carpets. Jack. Triangle. Jack can be kept somewhere. It could be used for. But triangle needs to be thin. Yep. We are going to take this thing off the wall as well, so that'll all be gone, as well as the hanging thing and whatever. Yep. That can go down the end with all the jump packs and whatever, potentially. Mm. You're off the boys from um, out on site to go in and um, out of Yeah. Not exactly the same fault. I have the old unit on the workbench that I'm on. It just appeared this morning. I found it in a box. So, what we think you need to get your garage to change it for you. Yeah. The one we had previously was the Subaru. We'd run three different Subaru. Pilots. Exactly. Super the we run right. three of them, none of them ever got back to us, none of them could ever provide a price for a new unit, which is what we were asking for, which is why I then bought that second hand unit from some other place. I mean, there is a floor cleaner, you know, that... I was worried it was going to rip, like, rip up the floor because it's all like... Well, it doesn't matter, it's all going to get paint anyway, we oh, okay. use it a hundred times. There's a knack to this thing. I think we'll get rid of it. Yeah, I'll knack with caretaker. I, don't, I just don't have it. How do you put the thing on? There you go. Well, you put it in, obviously, then it yeah. twists around that way. But the whole thing spins. So lean, tip it forward, it goes right. That's pretty cool. Lean it back and it goes left. And you can kind of hover it in the middle of it. Basically a big mop. Get TV for out here as well. Any people scrolling by and back and let's go on them and see whether there is something. Okay, well, I will get those part numbers and I'll get back in contact with you. Perfect, thank you so much. Bye. Do you want to see what we got? Yeah. Farmhouse. Cool. Meat feast. 
standard margarita. And then for the spice lovers, I got the spicy ring stinger or whatever it's called. Chair put together rooms. No sitting on the job. Give, give me the camera, Toad. I think I need a foot. What do you think of the chair, Toad? It's good. Yeah? I think I'll rate it. Four out of seven. Seven? I think it's a 10 out of 10. Oh, yes, look at this distinguished gentleman. Oi, oi! He's only coming down. Bloody hell, Toadski. Well done, mate. Yeah, looks alright. Main straight or whatever. We just put a bit more on the thingy. Sort of, we got like stamp or whatever in the corner. Gets us from where they've kept the. Yeah. Like, it's the, where the white back was. Um, and we need to fill in like. These holes and maybe do all the bits black and whatever. Goodbye, Barry Motors. I didn't see it happen either. I just had a massive wallop and I saw that he was recoiling from the window. <laughs> Come in one day and you'll have put some kind of joke thing on there. It'll be a compilation of me burping and stuff. <laughs> you wait till my dad next comes over. He loves the TV screen. It's not something you'll say. Try and get down a bit if you can. Like that. I'll just pop back in this problem. Uh, yeah. Can I hold it there? Yeah. There you are. There, there, there I am. That's the end of the wood. There we go. Much better. It's good enough. Yeah. Does it look central over the cabinets? Hello. Hmm? Organization. Look how it's quite hard to do straight lines when everything sinks to the middle because of how um, it's all a bit like collapsing. Uh, where's the pots of paint? Pots of paint? Yeah. They came out pretty clean, to be fair. To be fair, though. Just flatten out because someone stood them up. Was it you that stood them up? Open. Yeah. Uh, here. Oh. That's weird. 
the door's not unlocking again. The door decided to shoot itself again. But it was working absolutely fine the other day. What's code 82? That'll be to do with the fault. Mark, Mark, Mark. 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 Deep down there onto the road. Alright, we've got a clear line in ten minutes. Bank, which I think is going to accept. Uh, and I said, I'll give us your phone number and I'll get the drivers to do this. Yeah. 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 Chain on there. Pock here. Mine's a bit of you going out anyway. Sweet boss, but for yeah. a 17 hour book time, that's anything now. They're not going to give you 17 hour book time for anything other than a major fucking surgery. Normally. Okay, I mean, yeah, they, they were open to get it before the weekend, but obviously that ain't gonna happen, is it? It's not many bags in that one, mate. I see Thursday, isn't it? It's fine, then. Are we trying clearing it and driving it again? Because it's been driven around and done all the test drivers and whatever and wasn't on. Yeah, because that's what people do when they turn the light off, get rid of it, and then by the time it's been driven and started, stop three or four or five it's times or whatever. Yeah, it's a history code. Pending code, history code, and current code. So it's yeah. been there, is there, and coming back again. Clean the inside and shit out or? No, I'll wait for the other one to chill and then we'll swap everything over and get rid of this black one. You should have reversed them. No, you should have like reversed and then like. Yeah, like that chance. That's what the sign looking for. Yeah, that's what the sign looking for. Go in. Pull lock. Pull lock. Practice. Yeah, I reckon reversing is the best way to do it. Right, hang on, hang on. Come back out a sec. We need to make sure the ramp's actually going to clear. Alright, it's in place now. Keep going. That way a bit, that way a bit, that way a bit. 
The ramp oh. definitely wants to go forward though. Forward and this way? Well, just forward as it is, and a little bit this way, yeah. I'm in small, so yeah, I'm Mark's loving the idea of working down It can go forward like here. another half foot. Yeah, it can go further forward. Be cosy. We should just find a position for the ramp now. Josh, kind of... bring it forward a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that'll clear. Well, not everything's going to be able to get flatted in here, but, you know. Ramp forward. You have to shut that, you reckon? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's got the position at ramp to make sure it's... Yeah, at the end of the day, the this thing it. is ten times more luxurious than what the Polish car wash is using to do everything on a car. So this is... This is like a has got a lovely little bay for theirs. Oh. Pop off over there then. When I drove this, there was nothing. It, it did like one little hit up, it felt like it might have been like an injector missing or something, but Generally, that I think that was just like changing it. I think it's the electronic throttle. It's like on off, but the little part is like on off. So if you change the gear, it's like because it because it's got um, that um, anti-stall on it. Yeah, it's got a lot of stuff in it. Not a lot, I want to just try to go out in here for a minute while I'm doing it again. Do you want to trip, bud? Uh, I know he's bought it back, he's still kind of doing it, don't you? Eh? Hey? He's the one that was doing it, didn't he? Was that the one you picked up yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, it's making a really bad uh, gearbox yeah. crunch on a yeah. hard lock under strain or something. Yeah, but it's a four-wheel drive. No, it's front-wheel drive figures. So, yeah. They do. No. They do make four-wheel drive, same as they make four-wheel drive or Hambras, but... It's four-wheel drive. Yeah, there's no problem. The blue one on that. No, she was no. saying that it was surging. She's got two issues. First of all, reversing on full lock up an incline. Yeah. Uh, second was this surging thing she was on about. Adrian said it was manual. manual. Yeah. Um, Joe said it may just be because it's, it's electronic accelerator and you just kind of on off, on off. Maybe you save the clutch, but see what you think. Yeah. That's Yeah, I don't, I don't know why you went out to look for the clutch thing. I've been driving it all last night and whatever. There. We went to the, um, yeah, the Catherine's Inn. No. Um, I assume it's steep there. They're car parked on a, on yeah. a hill like that, and we're like reversing up the car park from a space up the hill and round and everything else and everything else. And I think the clutch is fine, it's a bit high and it's a bit like. I tried to slip it as well by second gear straight to fifth. And you've got to slip it. Yeah, no, I tried all that last night, yeah. so It has got also holes on the brake zone. David kept saying it hasn't, it's got hill hold. Yeah, so yeah, I don't think there's anything with that. It was more of anything surged or it felt like it was missing a, you know, an injector thingy. But I only felt like one thing once, but I think it's because the pedal's a bit whatever. So yeah, I don't think there's yeah, anything wrong with it. Like, there's always going to be one random thing that can highlight some minor weakness or yeah, incompatibility. Well, as you say, it was a very specific scenario, but it happens to her, but because it's her driveway that it happens on. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's important to her, but it's not going to be no one's yeah, so you know. Yeah, someone else, they never see it. Can. Oh, you're ready to do lunch? No, they have already died. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Joe's a trash in the joint. <laughs> 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 Fan. Yep, I do that. Bring it up here, load all these cardboard boxes and whatever stuff to take down the farm, Just all the rubbish. Pop them back. We'll have a sweep up. Move it back up against the walls. We could potentially put a nice little car in there overnight then. I think we should get in like a Ferrari or something.
Have we tried just turning the printer off and leaving it unplugged for her? No. It's... It's my my computer won't find it either. Oh yeah, make sure you keep the seal in, yeah, put that stuff in the container maybe. And then in the container, although, in the container where all the camera stuff is, mm -hmm. is the printer on my, uh, like, coffee table thingy. It's fucking heavy as fuck. It's alright for you, mate, could you just swallow in there. Get that chucked in the back of the van, bring that over here, we'll have that as our coffee table for yeah. there. Oops. We'll mount my projector up here. Have a fold down blind that comes down, project movies, we put the chairs round, that's 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 put a film on, and you have it playing through these speakers. <laughs> I did think I was gonna get something and I decided. Especially if it's a toilet. The set the light bulbs this one are 4.8 meters. Freaking huge. Was it 4 meters by 2 meters? I thought like just mounting yeah. them across the top of that would be quite good. Yeah. Guys, the 300 C there, isn't it? Hello, it's Jason. Yeah. What's happened? We've lost internet. I don't think. So. They should be able to link yeah, that up tell you so what. that that one works as a yeah at least in a worst case scenario for now. Yeah, I mean I can't get it all connected. Uh, morning, Tobes. Morning. You alright? Yes. That's puppy. Yes. Where are you? Is that it on Google? Literally. Walro Farm is what you want to look for. Oh yeah. Walro Farm. Have you got the Marine Keys? And then considering the time, there's a there's a collection at Bridgewater for eleven. So you could just Nip off and do that. drop that and then go straight down to Bridgewater, Ooh, yeah. grab that and then come back and then we'll Is get you onto whatever else. BCA Bridgewater, yeah. BCA. I will screenshot send, you. Send us the deets. Send us the details. Yeah, well, I was, I was alone and stuff at the farm this morning and I was like, half oh, time, where's Joe? And then you put a message in the chat like, forgot. I was, yeah, I was going to come. Got like, the phone, I've yeah, got the only phone that works for here and it was ringing off the hook. Yeah. Don't play the phone. <laughs> 
I'm not blaming the phones, Jason, I'm blaming you. Aaron's there. The thing that's done its work over the years, but it's like all day long. And then we have a bit more space as well, so I'm just gonna put a unit up on the wall up there. Where it's gonna go outside, I don't know, but we'll it's got tons of brackets so we can just hang it on the wall, hopefully. I thought about putting wine on here as well. And I thought about closing all that off and putting and I just thought bloody hell, I'm just throwing money away for no reason. It seems like you use a ramp here, you could just put a ceiling thing across and add some insulation and add one out here and then you've obviously got the not so insulated front windows, but I think probably the only thing that we've got that would fit that at the moment, um, I assume it's automatic, but I have to ask my colleague, is a Toyota Yaris, but it's a hybrid. It's basically just a small Japanese ID, probably automatic. Oh yeah. Flat tire emergency kit. Some reason Macaulay wanted to pack it all at the front like it was a shop front. Too much, too many years at being cute, I guess. <laughs> Trying to find something to do. Just looking to see if we had any sales cars we could bring forward. Did the tornado need anything? It was all pre prepped, wasn't it? My only concern with tornadoes is damp. Is it worth having a look at this um, Kashkai that we think probably wants a change? Yes. Narrow down for sure that it definitely is a chain before someone yeah, yeah. eventually shows interest in it. There's also, I mean, there's plenty to look at the forecourt. There's the Maserati, right. the brake. Right. So if you can diagnose that, that'd be helpful. Real yeah. window of the golf. Yeah. Yeah. You start the Verso. Yeah, no, it's here. You've got a viewing on the golf, haven't you? Silver golf, did you say? Sorry? You've got a viewing on the silver golf, haven't you? No, I haven't inquired on it, but it's oh. another one it's worth doing. Yeah. But the Maserati would be better because somebody wants to come see that. Yeah, just don't forget that the golf's in bits. Sorry? The door panel's hanging off the golf now. Silver one, yeah, alright. But no. Oh, well, could you finish that one? So it can not be finished? I don't know if we've got a part. Yeah, here we are. Maybe sold. Yeah. So, yeah, don't that be better then? Finish that. I could do that. I can look at the. Yeah, do that, that's it. That's cash guy, I can look at the fucking. Do that, Maserati. Maserati. Well, I don't know. Well, the golf, the then Maserati, then cash guy, is that? I'm following the Maserati. Uh, handbrake. Handbrake issue. <laughs> Uh, okay, do you want uh, the ID? We've got two wireless phones for yourselves, and both of them are just a nightmare. They turn off or they've got an awful sound, so I bought two replacements. Is it easy enough to switch over to the replacement phones, or uh, is that not really your thing? Yeah, correct. Yeah, I guess, yeah, that makes sense if hopefully then it will connect to everything again. Yeah, no, no. It, it, it's, um, I think some buttons got pressed when someone was playing around with some cables, basically. Oh, yeah. That's fine. It's fine. Brilliant. Okay. And as far as the wireless telephones and wanting to swap them over, um, is, is that something that we can do? I know it might not necessarily be your area, but. Is it something we could get a call back? Maybe someone could help us with that because the phones we've got, like I say, one of them just turns <laughs> off. Been, been no, they haven't been replaced before. It's um, the year link. I, I've tried to raise tickets to get some support because they were turning off, and one sounds awful. No worries. All right. <laughs> can you help me with this? I'll just try the phones that are already knackered and you've told me are knackered and if it continues then call someone else. Right, we should all be back on now. Don't press the wrong button. Come over to pay Jason. Yeah, it was my fault. I'll take that. Oh, it was Toby's fault actually, he led me astray. Toby led me astray. Oh, I, I, I thought Toby went was with the IT it. department. Yeah. Cut it so it's so all the way across, yeah. so a little. And then you can... Do you want so to strip? Have an overhang the other side, do you know what I mean? Yeah, do you yeah. want to strip the silicone and reseal the cone that we've got under there? Or? No. No? Stick, stick it over and it'll be fine. Yeah, not a problem. 
and obviously you'll need to cut square and there so it goes square and then you can work your way across. Do you want us to do the cut edge on the bottom so you don't see it as yeah, much? Yeah, the top one. Yeah, the top one's finished nicely. I mean, if you do it this way, you can kind of like mark yeah. there and there. Yeah, over. Yeah, sounds, sounds good. I would just measure it. I'm pretty sure it's seven inches, but measure it. Yeah, it's fine. And then make sure you measure both sides. Ruler, which is out there. I've twiddled many, many of bathrooms as a professional. physical rather than in the office and the sofa is like just pulled away from the wall for some reason. So obviously we're parking all our vans down here at the farm as like a little added extra of things we can offer. I'm going to try and keep a few vans in stock and see how well they do. It just means that if someone wants to view them we've got to come over here and grab one. So if someone wants to view the Transit Custom this morning. Hopefully we can get that sold to them. I've got the wrong key. That's upsetting. Which of these vans was it? Because they're both 66 plate. Was it definitely the... Okay. Let's roll.
Could you, um, someone's going to come view this in a minute. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the transport lads have stomped a load of mud in there. Oh, what, inside? Yeah. Yeah. It's got the worst of the bird shit on. Might want to... Oh, yeah. Might be a white job. Yeah, that's going to be a white job. Okay. Thank you very much. Sure. Definitely an improvement, isn't it? Finish up going down there and tidy the place up. Hopefully, the viewers will tell me it looks rough here and I would buy a 10 grand car there. Don't want you here. Uh, anyway, hopefully they'll be pleased. That's what really matters to me. Do you have van? It's back, yeah. I don't know if you want my message, but... Right. I've asked King Mark to be ready to clean it out, because it seems uh, like the transport okay. line tramp tromp a little mud on it. Uh, we missed Paul from Perth, picking up the Tara. Oh, right, yeah. He flew down this morning with his dad, driving back up after they got a chat box for breakfast. Chat box? Chat box, is it? Chat box is a burning little... Oh, we grab my micro and put it front and centre out here. Yeah. Do a uh, post on Facebook and whatever. Where is it now? It's just outside here. Actually, that's a point. I meant to put that bloody Fiat 500X out the front. So... I mean, what, what well, you like? I could just take some, put it there and take some pictures of it. I just want to put a thing on Facebook saying... Oh, OK. You know, look at the full service history, look at, you know, whatever, yeah. whatever and try and get it sold and then... When you're done, I'll move that. I'll swap the Mini for the Fiat. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah, just you can stick it out there if you want, uh, right in front. Oh, yeah, good point. Just on the corner. Yeah, OK. Because it's tucked away down, it gets damp for one, and it's easier to wave for two. At this stage, uh, James, you may or may not have seen that, me and James of Chop's Garage. I don't know why I can't ever say, when I say Chop's Garage, it was a Chop's Garage. Chop's Garage. Chop's Garage. Um, it's because it sounds like some kind of American TV show, doesn't it? Chop's Garage. <laughs> anyway. We had a little competition going, who could buy the best car for under five grand at auction. He has uh, sold his, but then he's unsold it, so we've still got a chance. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's not food. Oh, it's not food. <laughs> no, it's not food, I'm afraid. Okay. Just reading matter. I'm going for you. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Come and have a look. I'm waiting on my box. Thing you put the number plate in. Oh, right. Well, I've done the. Uh... We've got Auntie Vine on the wall now. I'm just waiting Yay. on the thing for the number plate to go in. Hi, so Auntie it's just Vi. like. That's brilliant, Joe. Although I realised I put 19 0, which is not that old. I should have <laughs> put 19 0. I, 19. I missed a 3 off. <laughs> yeah, 190 <laughs> AD. <laughs> not quite that Worth old. the rain. Oh, that looks brilliant. So you've got Dad and Vi down here now. Yeah. So I think you know, oh. above or below we'll put the, uh, yes, the number, number plate pack. itself yeah. in a sort of display box that matches. Well, that's good. Anyway, there's a bit more room for you to hang on to there. So there's... Um, Motor Museum. <laughs> Barrow Motor Museum. There's the Hillman Mix, and then these are all Vauxhall yeah. and Bedford. Lovely. Yeah. So, oh. oh. Bit of fun. Thank you very much. Probably a bit of more. You're going through the loft again or something? No, Liz has. Uh, we have quite good fun with the, I've still got it, actually it's down my other office. The, um, what was it? It was the price guide for, um, I don't know, 1950 or something. Yes. And everyone was saying, can you give me a trade price on my, whatever, Bill Willie mix or something. Well, certainly, and then they're like 150 pounds. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Yes. I remember the car that Dad bought my brother and I, which, well, not bought, but took back in part exchange, was a 1936 Morris 8. Yeah. Um, and I, I think he gave maybe £25 back on it. And then Bill and I drove it round, what's St. Scarlet's like, round the field for a long time. Yeah. That's why I'm such a good driver, Joe. Yeah. Well, I'll say, I used to drive <laughs> one old Renault the Clio around the field. Did you? Until I nearly rolled it. Yeah. So Jason's now blocked us. He must be mad.
Right. That'll do. Yeah, so we're saying, Chop put out a big smug post on Instagram. Oh, sorry, Joe, sold my uh, Swift, which she had more profit in potentially than our other one. But then when I messaged him, he recanted that and said the deal had fallen through. So, let's see when we have a chance. I'm going to do everything I can, put it on Facebook, Instagram, car of the week. It's quite a nice car. Zero previous keepers, one owner. Uh, full Nissan history, just had a new clutch. It's a micro, it's got sexy Nissan micro roof bars on it. What more do you want? Right, so it is the end of the week. It's Saturday. It's been a very long week, to be honest. Um, but we need to do a best car bought and best car sold. I think I know what we're going to do this week. I would say best car sold would be our Ford Torneo. Uh, by the time this comes out, you should have seen me buying that at auction at Aston Barkley. So we've got quite a good deal on that. We've kind of touched it up a little bit. Um, did take a deposit on it and then someone changed their mind. So then we managed to sell it again, which is good. And we've having phone problems all this week. You probably would have seen that by this point. Jason hit the thingy and we lost phones. So the only person that could take phone calls was me. And luckily I was driving in one morning when I had hands free, I answered the phone and they said, do you still have the Torneo? I said, yes, we do. She said, I want to buy it. So managed to sell it on my way into work, which was nice. So that, that makes it a good sale, I think. And best car bought. Do you know what? I haven't actually seen it. We'll have to have a little wonder and see where it is. We've bought a hybrid Yaris, I think. Well, we haven't bought it. We took it in part exchange for a Jeep Renegade. So let's go and have a look. Because as I have to say, I haven't seen it. It's a hybrid thing. That's all I know. Ah, I think I know where it is actually. I think Mark's cleaning it. Uh, so. Let's have a wander down to the Valet Bay and we'll see if he's down there doing that. Oh, Golf GTI, so maybe it's outside. This is our new uh, Valet Bay anyway, as you probably guessed. You know, it's not really a bad size, is it? Like, well, it needs to tidy up still some space, but some people would kill for a little space like this to Valet in. Here's the key. Yaris Hybrid Grey. Here we are. It's obviously in need of a clean, but Auto as well. Uh, yeah, I would say that's probably our best car bought. I don't know what the mileage is, but I think it was quite low and, you know, hybrid, Yaris-y type things. Always good news, usually. Uh, so I guess that's it for this week, really. I can't think of anything else. Obviously, we've been sort of sorting stuff out. We'll carry on doing that next week. We've got new air conditioning, getting fitted, uh, decorating, giving the whole place the refresh that everyone keeps telling me it needs. Um, so... You ask and I provide. Um, yeah, it's going to be another interesting week next week. In fact, Toby and I are off. We're off to auctions. Uh, we're off to other dealers to go and film with them. So, yeah, it should be quite an interesting week next week. Going to be a, a busy one. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here because there's a whole series of these now. What are we on? Episode 28? There's 27 episodes of this you can go back and watch and there'll be more to come as well, at least through this year until I get absolutely sick to death of it, which is, to be fair, probably in a couple of weeks' time. But in the meantime, we're still going, so make sure you subscribe and there's all kinds of other videos as well. Um, yeah, if, if you want any of my merchandise, you can check out my website, shiftingmetal.co.uk. If you want to sell us your car, you can head to carsportformore.com, enter your information. We've gone back to a long-form kind of form so we can tailor it specifically to your car. Yeah, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week.